Interchange Intro Unit 7 Words with pictures Bathroom Water closet Bathroom Water closet Bedroom Bedroom Where you sleep Closet Where you put your clothes Where you put your clothes Closet Dining room Where you eat Dining room Where you eat Elevator Elevator American elevator T of D A lift Goes up or down to the next floor Goes up or down to the next floor Garage Where you park the car Hole Hall connects rooms connects rooms kitchen where you cook kitchen where you cook laundry laundry room where you wash clothes where you wash clothes living room where you watch TV living room where you watch TV Lobby British lobby Where you wait Room A place in the house Room A place in the house Stairs Where you walk up or down to the next floor Stairs Where you walk up or down to the next floor Stairs Where you walk up or down to the next floor Window Where you look outside Window Where you look outside Yard Yard Where you put the garden Where you put the garden Cabin A primitive house Cabin A primitive house Primitive Primitive house A small house Cabin A small house Beach house A home at the beach This is the beach You have here a house or home at the beach Beach house A home at the beach Loft An open room upstairs An open room upstairs Villa A country mansion Villa, a country mansion. Armchair, a chair with arm rests. Armchair, a chair with arm rests. Bed, what do you sleep on? This is a bed, what do you sleep on? Bookcase. Chair, where do you sit? Chair, where do you sit? Coffee table. Coffee table. Where you put your coffee? Coffee table. Where you put your coffee? Curtain. Covers the window. Curtain. Covers the window. Dresser. Holds your clothes. Holds your clothes. Lamp. Provides light. Lamp. Provides light. Mirror. Where you can see yourself Mirror Mirror Where you can see yourself Picture A painting, drawing or photo Picture, a painting, drawing or photo Rug Floor covering Floor covering Rug Rug Sofa Sofa A large comfortable place to sit a large comfortable place to sit microwave oven microwave oven a kitchen appliance used to heat food quickly a kitchen appliance used to heat food quickly refrigerator refrigerator teeth of the refrigerator a kitchen appliance used to chill food
Refrigerator, a kitchen appliance used to chill food. To chill food. Stove, where do you cook food? Stove, where do you cook food? Forest, a very large group of trees. Forest, a very large group of trees. Inside, in a building or enclosure. In a building. Outside, not in a building or enclosure. Not in, T of D. Not in, not in a building. Outside, not in a building. Ship. Large vessel that carries passengers or cargo on water. A ship. A ship carries passengers. A ship carries passengers. Store. Where you shop. Store where you shop. TV. TV, television. TV, television. Another. More than what you had. Big, large. This is small. This is big. Big, large. Opposite, small. Colorful, full of colors. Dream home, where you wish you could live. Colorful, full of colors. Dream home, where you wish you could live. Expensive, costs a lot of money. Expensive, costs a lot of money. Lucky, has a good fortune. Has good fortune. Lucky, has good fortune. Recycled, used again. Recycle, used again. Small, little, little T of D. Small, little. Unusual, unusual, strange. Unusual, strange. Upstairs, where you step to walk to the next floor. Upstairs, where you step to walk to the next floor. Build, construct. Love. Care deeply for, love, care deeply for, deeply, care deeply for, think, use your brain, think, use your brain, garage, garage, a room for storing cars, garage, a room for storing cars, hole, hole, Laundry room, laundry, laundry room, a room for cleaning clothes, a room for cleaning clothes. Living room, a room for being with family and friends, a room for being with family and friends. Lobby, lobby, British, American, lobby, lobby, the main floor, the main floor. This is a lobby, the main floor. Room. A place in a building with four walls, a floor, and ceiling. So this is a room. A place in a building with four walls. Four walls. One, two, three, four. Four walls. And a ceiling. This is a ceiling. A ceiling. Stairs. Stairs, steps, steps going up or down to a different floor in a building. Stairs, steps going up or down to a different floor in a building. Window, window, glass put in a wall to let sunlight into a building. Glass put in, put in a wall to let sunlight into a building. Window, this is a window. Glass put in a wall to let some light into a building. Yard. Yard. Land connected to a house or building. Yard. Land connected to a house, a house or building. Yard. Villa. A large house or estate that's usually located in the country. 
Villa, a villa, a large house or estate that's usually located in the country. Armchair, armchair. Bed, bed. Dresser, dresser. Lamp. Lamp. Mirror. 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 Picture. Rug. 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 Sofa. Sofa. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Refrigerator, refrigerator, T of the D, R as R, refrigerator. Stove, stove, cooker. Ship, ship. Big, large, big, large. Colorful, colorful, having many colors. Colorful, having many colors. Dream home, ideal home, dream home, ideal home. Expensive, costing a lot of money, costing a lot of money. Lucky, lucky, fortunate, recycled. To reuse materials again, to reuse materials again. Small, small, tiny, unusual, not normal, unusual, not normal. Upstairs, one floor up. Upstairs, one floor up. Belt. To make something by putting together parts of materials. Belt. To make something by putting together parts of materials. Love. To feel great affection for someone or something. Love. Think. Think. To believe that something is true. First, we need to talk about house vocabulary. For example, in the house, we have a bedroom, a bathroom, another bedroom, a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room. Also, an office and a laundry room. Now, also in the house, we have the basement. So the basement is the bottom part below, under the surface, under the ground. Above, we have the first floor of the house and the second floor of the house. Again, the basement is under the house, the first floor of the house, and the second floor is on the first floor. Very good. This is Jose and Karen. They want to buy a new house. They are looking for houses. Linda is a real estate agent. She is helping Jose and Karen find the perfect house. Okay, Jose and Karen, this next one is a great house. I think you are going to love it. Oh, it looks beautiful. I really like the yard. Wow, it is really nice. 
Can we see the inside? Here it is. Do you have questions about the house? Yes, I do. Does the house have bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has two bedrooms. And do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. And one bedroom has a closet. And does the house have a basement? Yes, it does. The office and the laundry room are in the basement. And does the house have a garage? No, it doesn't. Do you have a car? Yes, yes we, we do. Do you need to have a garage? No, we don't, I guess. We can park on the street. Tell us more about the house. Okay, well, there is a big kitchen and a nice living room. Unit 7. Does it have a view? Page 44, Exercise 1, Snapshot. Listen and practice. House. The house has two floors, a garage and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. The bedrooms have closets. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. The apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. The house, the house has two floors, first floor and second floor. The first floor has laundry room, dining room, kitchen, living room. Living room, it's room for watching television, having fun, meeting the guests, meeting people. Dining room, a room for eating. It has a dining table. Laundry room, a room for washing clothes. Kitchen, a place for cooking food. Kitchen is a place to cook food. Garage, garage to park the car. Yard, what's yard? Yard area around the house. This is yard, an area around the house. Small garden, garden around the house. Stairs, you go up to the second floor. Second floor, floor number two. Floor number two. Hall. Bedroom. Bathroom. Closet. This is the house. Apartment. Apartment, a flat. Lobby. This is the lobby. Entrance to the building. You go up. Elevator. By the elevator, elevator, a lift. Living room, dining room, room for eating, bedroom, room for sleeping. A bedroom, a room for sleeping. Bathroom, closet. What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments? In Egypt, 
we have villas. The villa has living room, kitchen, laundry room, dining room, garage, bedrooms, bathrooms, What rooms are in apartments? Apartments, flats. In Egypt, the apartment or the flat has three bedrooms, reception or living room, bathroom, kitchen. What rooms are in your house or apartment? In my house, There are five bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a big reception. Exercise number two. Look at the picture here. What do you see? A young lady. Books. Living room, living room, LR, living room, yes. This is balcony, balcony. Listen. Page 44, exercise 2, conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Exercise 2, conversation. My new apartment. Guess what? Think, think, think what? I have a new apartment. New what, what sound? A new apartment. I have a new apartment. New apartment, a new flat. That's great. What's it like? Describe it. Tell me about it. What's your flat like? What's your apartment like? It's really nice. It's very nice. It's wonderful. Is it big? Is it very big? Well, yes, it has a big living room. It has a big living room a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice, wonderful. Do you live downtown? Downtown, the center of the city, the city center. Do you live downtown? Do you live in the city center? No, I don't. I live near the university. The, the university. Does it have a view? A view. When you look from the balcony, you see what? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view. It has a wonderful view of another apartment building. In front of my flat, a very big building. A wonderful building of apartment building. It has a great view of another apartment building. What about Linda? Why is Linda happy? Because she has a new apartment. Linda has a new flat. 
What's Linda's flat like? What's her flat like? What's her apartment like? It's really nice. Is it big? Is her flat is big? Yes, it is. It has big living room, bedroom, bathroom, and a kitchen. Does Linda live downtown? No, she doesn't. She lives near the university. Does her flat, does her apartment have a view? Yes, it does. What is the view? It has a great view of another apartment building. Exercise number three. Grammar focus. Page 45, exercise three. Grammar focus. Simple present short answers. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Simple present short answers. Simple present the question we have yes or no. Short answers yes, no questions. So in the answer yes and no. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in a flat? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Question do you answer yes, no. Do the bedrooms have windows? Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do you? Question, answer. Do, yes, do. No, subject, don't. Again, do. Do you? Do the bedrooms live, have? Do, subject, verb. Answer, yes or no, yes, no, subject, do, no, don't, yes, they do, no, they don't. Does, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Does, subject, main verb. Does, subject, main verb. Does Chris live? Does the house have? The subject, Chris, he. The house, it. Does, he. Does she. Does it. Main verb. Yes. Subject does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, it does. No. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, time for the grammar. Remember the yes, no questions. We use the auxiliary verb do and does for the question in the simple present. The auxiliary do we use for the subjects I, you, we, and they. The auxiliary verb does we use for the third person subjects he, she, it. Remember for the subject they, we use they for multiple people and multiple things. And today we are using they for multiple things. Also it. Remember the subject it is for one thing. Only one thing. Now when the question 
starts with the auxiliary, it's a yes no question. So the short answer for a question with do, we can say yes and no. Yes, we say yes, subject do. The no, we say no, subject don't, with the negative auxiliary. Very good. Now, a question with does, a yes no question with does, in the short answer, we say yes, subject does. And the negative, we say no, subject doesn't, the negative auxiliary. Very good. Now it's time to practice. A. Complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. In this exercise, you will answer the questions, you fill in the blanks, you will use do or does. Remember, do, you, we, they, I. Does, he, she, it. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in a flat? No, I. No, I don't. I live in a house. Linda. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. You alone. Do. Do you? Do you live alone? No, I don't. No, don't. No, I don't. I? I live. I live with my family. Do. Do you? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Your house, many bedrooms. Your house. Does your house have, does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It, for, verb to have, we have, they have, I have, he, she, it, has. It has four, it has four bedrooms. Do you have your own bedroom? Do you? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Again, the answers. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky. In bar B, per work, read the conversation in part A again. Ask and answer these questions about Chris. So, you will read the conversation again and you start to ask the questions about Mr. Chris. Does, does Chris live in an apartment? 
Does Chris live in an apartment? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does his house have a yard? A yard area around the house. Like this, this is the yard. Does his house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Does he live alone? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does he have his own room? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Exercise number four, listening. It has just one room. Now, look at the pictures here. In this picture, you have four homes. You listen to four people describe their homes, number the pictures from one to four. You will listen to the people. The people are describing their homes, their houses. You put the number. Which one is number one, two, three, or four? Ready? You will listen two times. Page 45, exercise 4, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Page 45. Exercise 4. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from 1 to 4. 1. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. One, home number one, this is number one, two floors, first floor, second floor. On the first floor, he lives in the first floor with his family. On the second floor, another family. They are very nice, but they are not quiet. They are noisy. They make a lot of noise. So this is number one. One. Number two. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Two. He lives in a flat on the fifth floor. Fifth floor, floor number five. Count one, two, three, four, five. He lives here in this building on fifth floor. This is a modern building, a new building. It has a lot of shops. 
The street has a lot of shops. It's wonderful. It's great. It has a great view of the city. And this apartment building is in downtown. Downtown city center. So this is number two. So picture number one, picture two. Three. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Number three. Her apartment is very small. It has only one room, one room, small kitchen and a kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom. She sleeps on the sofa. She sleeps on the sofa. So this is number three. Three. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. This is number four. The house is very old. She lives in the country. The country, the countryside, villages. The house has a yard. This is a yard area around the house. The house is small, but they like it. There are a lot of trees around it. There are a lot of trees and a big yard. Picture four. This is picture number four. Four. So the answers. This is picture two. Picture four. Picture number three. Picture number one. One. Three. Four. Two. Page 46. Exercise 5. Word power. Furniture. Part A. Listen and practice. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk. Bookcase. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Rug. TV. Cupboards. In this exercise, you listen and repeat. Armchairs, armchairs, chairs, chairs, but armchairs, big chairs, big chairs. Stove, stove, cooker, stove, cooker. Curtains, curtains, pictures. Bed, bed for sleeping. Table, coffee table, coffee table, a small table. Microwave oven, oven, microwave oven. Refrigerator, refrigerator, TSFD, refrigerator. Lamps, lamps. Sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, dresser, 
chairs. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Rug, rug, a small carpet. TV, television. Cupboards, cupboards. Now, which rooms have the sinks in part A? Complete the chart. Kitchen. In the kitchen, we have table, stove. American kitchen, we have dining table, very big table, table. Refrigerator, refrigerator. Dining room, dining room, room for eating. In the dining room, we have table, table, chairs, living room, living room, room for watching television, for meeting guests. In the living room, TV, television, bookcase, curtains, 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 armchairs, armchairs. In the living room, armchairs, curtains, pictures, refrigerator, chairs, armchairs, bookcase, bedroom. In the bedroom, it's room for sleeping. In the bedroom, a bed, curtains, pictures, lamps, lamps, chairs, see, group work. What furniture is in your house or apartment? Tell your classmates. Tell your friends about the furniture in your house. My living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My bedroom has a bed, a mirror, a rug, My kitchen. My kitchen has a stove, refrigerator, and table. Bedroom. In the bedroom, it's room for sleeping. In the bedroom, a bed, curtains, pictures, Lamps, lamps, chairs, see, group work. What furniture is in your house or apartment? Tell your classmates. Tell your friends about the furniture in your house. My living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My bedroom has a bed, a mirror, a rug, my kitchen. My kitchen has a stove, refrigerator, and table. That's the end of part one Unit 7, Unit 7, Part 1, Homework,
Homework number one. Study by heart the vocab book. Number two. Lesson, lesson, lesson and repeat. Number three. You listen and repeat. You answer three pages of the workbook. The first three pages of the exercises of the workbook. Welcome. 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.